Welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Oh. For the seventh consecutive year, the results of the annual Global Peace Index indicates that the world continues to drift away from peace as it spirals into a chaos tornado of violence, corruption, hate, and war that will eventually consume us all. The results may not be as disheartening as Joe here described, but according to the GPI, it is costly. Last year, $9.8 trillion went into paying for the cost of dealing with the bad stuff. You know, war, violence, and that program to erase Kardashians from our minds. Why won't it work? International conflicts are on the decline, which is dope, but internal struggles are becoming far more common. According to the index, 11 countries are currently engaged in absolute conflict. But for the most part, Asia Pacific, Europe, and North America are mostly peaceful and get their kumbaya on like all the time. Don't mess with our kumbaya. Mm. 22 indicators were considered to determine each country's level of love or destruction. We're talking education, relationships with neighboring countries, and population levels of democracy and the transparency within, the number of dollars spent on military stuffs, the number of homicides, terrorism, and a national sense of well-being. They also judged each country with a super sweet pillars of peace graph. Oh man, so cool. Graphs. Graphs are cool. Graphs could bring harmony to the world with their copious amounts of information presented in a pleasing to the eye kind of way. I fucking love graphs. Now, if you're looking to up and move the family to a safer neighborhood, why not check out these places? From 10 to 1, these are the top 10 peaceful countries on the planet. Norway. Belgium. Japan. Canada. Finland. Switzerland. New Zealand. Austria. Denmark. And number one, Iceland. Oh, uh, Iceland. Typical Iceland. So good for you, Iceland. I want to go to all those places like all the time. Apparently, Europe is the place to be. Seven out of the top 10 countries are European and 15 out of the top 20. Angry law exists, you guys. Yeah. It's in the European Union. And on the other side of the coin, we've got the least peaceful countries. Go to these places if you want to, like, die in your free time. Weird hobby. I know. 10 to 1! Number 10, North Korea. What, really? Only the 10th worst? Yep. Really? <laughs> Really? You're killing our list flow. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Central African Republic. Sudan. Somalia. Iraq. South Sudan. Afghanistan. And the number one stay the frick away from that place country is... Syria. Syria. Really? <laughs> it's encouraging that the United States ranking was considerably outside of the bottom 10, but also super discouraging, because for a country that likes to keep the peace, we are nowhere near the top. And for the first time, the states are outside of the top 100 countries. Nice, right? The blame for the rise in violence is clearly attributed to video games, movies, music, Pokemon. Uh, the blame for the rise in violence is clearly attributed to things like video games, movies, music, Pokemon, razors, scooters, monster energy drinks, and bears. <laughs> Oh! Oh, wow! Why would you do that? I'm sorry. Violence is an inherent part of my regional being. Sorry. Yeah, but ow! I, I know. Ew! I'm sorry. Ew. So guys, how do you turn this world around and bring sunshine and rainbows back into our lives? Please solve the world's problems in the comment section down below. After that, like, subscribe, click the annotation, watch more SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. And boom! Oh! Yeah! Oh, oh. You just got brought to punch school. First lesson, don't funk with Joe. Oh, Gina! I was actually scratched you. I scratched you. Ew. I scratched Ew. you. Ew. Oh no, I really didn't. Oh, your wife is not gonna like that. It looks exactly like a vampire hickey. Ew.